We're back on the Vashash train, kind of. Hello, how are you? Uh, 18th of February, 2031. It's going to be our first Champions League knockout game here at home against Liverpool. And I'm giving you this uh, first leg because I think we're going to get absolutely smashed. And then we'll just have to uh, concentrate on next year's European outings. Hey, but this will be a great little game, won't it? Let's go through the transfers. It's been a while since we did Vashash, of course, so I need to uh, understand myself what the hell has happened. Uh, ooh, a lot going out from January. My goodness. Okay, from the top, we got uh, Camby off to Boca Juniors. That is, let's move that out of the way, 12.5 million. We've got, we still live there, 12.5 million. That's profit. Jurasek went to Inter Milan. 4.1 million. Lima went to Shanghai Shenhua. This is, yeah, I was I was gutted about that. 33 million pounds, though. Can't really complain. Uh, Marcel was sold to DL Pro for 20 million. Hoyos is 20 million as well. 20.5 for Marcel. Uh, Johan Limonier went to Juventus. 10 million. Uh, Milosevic, there he is. Uh, he was signed up, must have been signed up and loaned out to Pushcat Academy. Maximiliano Perez went to Copenhagen for £3.4 million. Uh, our Czech goalkeeper, Jakub Zmrhal, uh, went for £5 million. Jean-Paul Njavedi, another new loan. Adrian Hoffman is a loan. Um, uh, Luis Oberwarenbrock. Loaned out. Uh, Patrick Cook went to Shabab Al Ali for £10 million. And then a couple more loans. So Matteo Gracci and Fabio Luiz. Cool. That's on the outgoings and on the ingoings. Oh boy, there's a lot of names here. £10 million for Fabio Luiz. And we got another £10 million for Generoso Coscia. Very nice signing there. Uh, Sergio Martins, really cheap. Under a million pounds for a max potential player. Go me. Uh, Jesse Rui, Ruiz. He's an attacking midfielder, probably training up to be a right-hand-sided uh, right winger. Mm, yep, definitely a max potential. Good signing. 11.5 million from PSV Eindhoven. Uh, we have... This uh, Streko Milosevic kid that has gone out on loan. That was a £2.5 million signing. Adrian Hoffman, £4.5 million from Bayern Munich. I think he's not maximum potential. Uh, this guy is, though. I paid a lot of money for him because he is Andorran. And I think he's going to stay Andorran because he looks like he's got caps for the um, first team. That's a maximum potential. Jorge Ramon, £17 million. Vitor Benito... Uh, really cheap coming out of Benfica's academy. Maximum potential there. 900k total. 1.4k, uh, 1.4 million for Roberto Di Bernardi from Inter Milan. Great signing. Uh, Mamadou Dembele signed up uh, from one of the French clubs. St. Etienne, it looks like. Maximum potential. Ahmed uh, Masoudi. Maximum potential. Looks like. He could be an insane strike. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And then this is Louis Oban Varenbrock again. Uh, obviously on loan at the moment. Next up, Hugo Paula. Hugo Paulant. Hugo Paulant. Lantonio. Hugo Paulantonio. It's easier than what I was making out. Yeah. You go, Paolo Antonio. Maximum potential coming in from Napoli. 6.75 million. Uh, Jean-Paul Inya Veggie is... Um, I wonder if he's vegetarian. Um, 7.5 million signing from Lyon. Augusto Cesar signed... From uh, Palmeiras for 3.3 .3 million. Really pacey forward, but I, I want to play him out on the wing. Ronald Lenice, uh, cheap 
Colombian goalkeeper. Maximum potential there, 1.3 million. Uh, Marcel Dijkstra. Dijkstra. Uh, this is a 16-year-old forward. Maximum potential. A lot of great signings. And Francisco Naguero, your final one. A holding midfielder from Sporting Lisbon. Under a million. Thank you very much. Uh, great signings. A lot of signings. Well, mass transfers in and out. But uh, there's a little bit of profit there. A little bit of money coming into the club's balances. What's the finances looking like? £66 million. Pounds. Jesus, look at us go. Okay. Let's have uh, some fun, I guess. I know that... Right, okay, so... Here's something. Here's a problem. I thought we had way more left-backs at the club than we actually did. Uh, so for the next six months... We're actually going to be playing Sabo at left back. He's all right there. He's not the worst, but I'd like I'd rather have a proper wing back. Maybe if Liverpool have a good right winger, we might be in trouble. Let's just get it over and done with. I don't know what stadium we're playing in. But what I what I can do right now is encourage. Hang on, it's Vashash! Oh, you've well, actually got the first chance there. I don't know why my voice went so high. Uh, and now uh, Liverpool will probably start dominating. Oh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, the greatest right back in the world, gets dispossessed by Sukhanov. Go on. Just put the ball in. Put... I'm just disappointed that he didn't put a ball in. Bilal boss, doing our oh. Ah, there you go, Makoko. Yeah, Yusuf Makoko gives Liverpool the lead. Here we are. This is what we unfortunately have to expect. It would be nice to have a stronger midfield. My midfield is. Slightly weak. Stats are alright for Vashash. Hang on. Hang about. Go on. Go on. Just whip it back in. Petra Vicious. Oh my goodness, we scored! Have some of that, Liverpool. There might be a second leg in this. I can't believe it. Let's do some more encouragement. Is there's a Liverpool throw in? Benton Kerr stringing the passes together. They are going backwards a little bit. Stay, stay strong. Stay strong. That's fine. That is not a foul, is it? Referee, don't do this to us. Don't do this. They've given a penalty for that. I, I just... I don't understand how that is a penalty. It looks like he's taken it. Oh, God. Trent Alexander-Arnold has scored against me, which... Um, to the, the light of, like, loads of the mods who, who know how much I hate Trent Alexander-Arnold, like... Overhyped. Over. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, a little bit overhyped. But there you go. I he just won man of a match against Man United and I don't know. Go on, suck enough. Oh mate. Oh mate. It's over. We're getting killed. Benton, go, please. What are you doing? Great block. It's not over. It's a goal. Yeah, well, I think that might be not only this, this match over, but the entire tie over is Liverpool get three away goals. Uh, mm, yeah. Man. 
Match stats haven't been that bad. Like, in four shots on target, they've managed to score three. Go on, suck, suck it off. What are you doing, lad? I'm freaking out a little bit here. Questa just launches it out. Yes, going to suck it off all the time is not going to work. Apart from the times that it actually works. Ah. Okay. Very nice. Good assist. Very good. So that was uh, Fratia with the goal. Definitely not how you say that word. It keeps it keeps the tie alive. It keeps the dream alive. If we draw this game, I will record the second leg for sure. Put it back in. Suck and I'll put it back in. What a revelation he's been. What are we saying? It is Vashash 3, Liverpool 3. Great European tie. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Another throw in for Vashash. Petra Vicious. It's Santa Petra Vicious. What? Simple thing. 4-3 Vashash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's have a look at the the status of some of these players, the uh, stamina levels. Pinto could come on. No, I, I'm going to I'm just going to keep it like this. Everybody's fine. Could it be more than 4-3? Oh, we have... No, that's a player on the bench that's harboring a slight injury. We're all good. Saavedra can come on. Yeah, no problem. Midfield? Vilal Pando? That works. Sukhanov's been good. Bratileri's been good. Petrovicius has won it back. He looks like he's had a really good game. It's Petrovicius. Can't see his actual stats here because he's just about to be uh, replaced. Sukhanov's on the run. Oh, and Bratileri's put it over the ball. Praise is coming. Because they deserve it. I mean, we get another one here. And we are in dreamland, aren't we? Great take. For a sec- Oh, move out of the way! Sukhanov! It's it! Oh my god! It's 5-3 Vashash. Are we gonna knock out Liverpool? It's an insta highlight. We're not over. This could be 6 3. If this is 6 3, they've got a mountain to climb. Oh! Simple Vader! <sighs> it's still going to be really, really tough at Anfield, isn't it? But at least we got something to hang on to. They need two goals at Anfield. I mean, they proved today that they can score three, so... Crazy. Crazy stuff. Well done, Vashesh. What a, an amazing performance from such an unlikely position. Are we going to have full time here? There it is. Full time Vashash 5, Liverpool 3. Huh. Okay. 
No, I, I don't have anything bad to say. That was absolutely incredible. That's some way to get me back into the, the swing of things on Football Manager. Let's uh, let's save this up. Yep, definitely. Wow, what a game. What a game to come back to. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. It was still, like, interested in the series. That was that was wicked. We've really got a chance of advancing to the next stage of the Champions League. Wow. Wow. See you next time.